So starting with number one for this video, we're going to be multiplying a two term, so this is a two term, so we call that a binomial, with a three term, so that's a trinomial. So it works the same as all the others, it means that this x will have to be multiplied there, there, and there. So let's start with that. So x times x squared, well x times x squared is x to the power of 3. Next is going to be x times 3x, well that's just going to be 3x squared. And then x times by 1, well that's just x. Now that I've used this x with all 3, I can stop with that one, and now I need to use the minus 1. And that minus 1 is first going to be multiplied with x squared. So minus 1 times by x squared is just minus x squared. Or you can even put the 1 there if you would like to. Next will be minus 1 times by 3x, and that's just going to be minus 3x. And then the last one will be minus 1 times by 1, and that's just minus 1. Then what we do is we scan across in this final part and we see if there's any like terms. Well here there's an x squared and here there's an x squared. Here I see an x and here I see an x. So those are like terms. So I'm going to write down the x3. Then for the green x squareds it's 3 minus 1. Well 3 minus 1 is 2 so that means it's just going to be 2x squared. And then for the purple, you can think of that as a 1x minus a 3x. Now if you're stuck here, you just use your calculator. You type in 1 minus 3 on your calculator, and that will give you minus 2x. And then this minus 1 we just add at the end, and that will be the answer. So we know that this x squared will eventually have to multiply with the x and with the 2. So let's start off by multiplying x squared with x. If you multiply those two together, you end up with x to the power of 3. Next will be x squared multiplied with positive 2, which is just positive 2x squared. We're now going to move on to, so because we've used this x squared with both of these, we're now going to move on to this minus 3x. So minus 3x times by x is negative 3x squared. Minus 3x times by positive 2 is negative 6x x. So we've now used the minus 3x as well, and all that's left now is this positive 1, which needs to multiply to the x and the 2. So 1 times by x is just x, and then 1 times by 2 is just positive 2. What we now do is we look for any like terms. Here we can see a x squared and a x squared, and then a x and a x. And so we just put all the like terms together. So I'm just going to write this x3 down because it's by itself. Then for the x squared, you can just type this in on your calculator. 2 minus 3 is just minus 1. Then for the purple, it's going to be minus 6 plus 1. You can just type that in on the calculator if you want, and that's going to give us minus 5x, and then the plus 2 we'll just put at the end.